members. Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays. This is your host, the Pixel Pirate, and today we're taking a look at a game called Brand. Brand is a... Well, it's hard to explain. I'll probably uh, call it an RPG, maybe a hack and slash RPG. Basically, the story of the game is you are a guy, pretty average guy, uh, you are given a basic sword with which to fight with, or rather, improve. Basically, the, the whole premise of the game is uh, you need to make a sword that is fit for a king. So you need to continually be upgrading your sword and making it more and more powerful and so on and so forth. Uh, basically, that is long and short of the game. Now, I think progression in the game is actually with the sword. So you upgrade the sword, you don't actually upgrade any of your attributes as far as I know. So that's quite interesting. Now, I've played it for about 5 or 10 minutes, and what really struck me was each individual monster um, requires you to fight in a different way. So it's actually challenging combat. We'll get to that more to, into that later. You can pick it up from Desura. It is currently on sale. It's only a dollar, so that's awesome. It's a dollar for another 30 hours, according to this, at the time of recording. So that's 80% off. It's normally $4.99, so still pretty damn cheap. And the graphics are pretty tight and stuff like that. It's developed and published by Nine Dots Studio. So that is about all the information I have on the game. So let's get started. Story and empty. We'll go for normal. Make this sword fit for a king. All right, I'll do that. So as, as you can see, it's just a plain old sword. And off we go. Okay, the commander ordered me to turn this old sword into a mighty weapon. I'll need to scrub off the rust. I'll need to scrub the rust off from it first. A blacksmith could do it for me, but not for free. I'll have to go into the castle, the mine, or the necropolis to get some gold. All right. So I've already gone into the necropolis and had a fight, so I might... Um, gee, decisions. Well, let's go into the mine. All right. Every monster has a price on its head. I just need to eliminate a few of them to collect a sufficient bounty of gold. So as you can see down the bottom near my health bar, uh, that is the bounty of 0 out of 200 currently. Now, um, the way you attack is you actually move around with the arrow keys and then you attack with WSAD, so, which is uh, quite intriguing. And of course you jump with spacebar. So D, for example, does that move. And then S does a sort of a charge. And then uh, W is sort of a light attack, I guess. That's D again. And then, uh, sorry, A is a uh, light attack. And then W does nothing. So it's actually ASD. And anything else? No, that's it. All right. I've already encountered these guys before. The most effective is to charge them. All right, so as you can see, I've got 20 bounty now. Ugh. Those guys are annoying. Oh, oh crap. Here we go. And can I do anything with that? No, I think it... Oh, no, it might not be. Uh, just trying keys here. Oh, yeah, you just hit it. Easy enough. All right, I've got no idea what it did, but... I've uh, pushed it. Okay, what else we got here? Now oh, these damn bugs. Ah, oh, damn it. Cheeky sod you are. <laughs> uh, let's try and get this guy. Oh, lucky he didn't hit me. So it is a... Oh, dear. It is a fairly challenging game. <laughs> How am I going to get to you? Might have to get to your friend there. Ow! That was lucky. Hopefully there's no fall damage, otherwise I'll... Uh, I'm in for it. <laughs> that was lucky. Ah! Crap! 
The other danger in the game is that you can just basically run into way too many enemies. But it's good that you can do that. So as you can see, there are actually variants of each enemy. I don't know if they're any stronger or... Yeah, that looks like they are. Because normally they take two hits or two charges, I should say. You'll be dead. Oh, it looks like I've got health from him. Okay, that should be enough. Now I just have to go back to the village and pay the blacksmith. Press escape to select. Uh, yes, I know, I know that already. All right, so um, the way you get back to the village is, of course, you return to the village and that creates a portal. Now, the portal takes five seconds to open, so you can't just... You know, if you're dying too much, you can't just open a portal and uh, get out of uh, jail free, so to speak. Which is good, I think. Alright, I'll have to see the blacksmith before I can do anything else. Where is the blacksmith? Oh, here we go. Right. Uh, that's a chemist, blacksmith, mage. Let's go and see the blacksmith. The blacksmith can do more than refine his sword. But it's, uh, it's the only thing that he'll do in exchange for gold. Besides, without a better material, this sword can't be enhanced further. Uh, select the refine icon to accept your reward and obtain the first level of this power. Alright. So I guess we press that. Done! Now I should vi visit the chemist or the mage as well. All three craftsmen offer different upgrades. Once I decide which powers I want, I should tell them what I need. They'll send me on a quest in exchange for their service. All right. So what's this one do? Okay, so level one plus 100 efficiency and next 115. The exquisite material that makes up this sword serves as an ideal groundwork for other enhancements. Refining your sword increases the quality of every other power on it. Using a portal to return the village lets you keep the bounty you've earned. Alright, and what's this one? This heavier blade has been designed for raw severing power. It raises the amount of damage dealt by your quick, heavy, and dash attacks. Um, so that's 10% damage. I wonder what efficiency is. Oh, anyway, let's go... Ooh, dash length plus 2. Even the breeze itself seems sliced apart by this unnatural edge. You can slash through more enemies when you dash as well as travel further when dashing. The dash and times, time bends cooldown is reduced by higher levels of sharpen. I don't know what time bends is. Uh, tipping that's a, another power of some description. So let's go and visit the chemist. Oh, okay, so that's that poison coating, right? Every quick attack injects toxins in your foe if they're damaging it over time. Yep. Uh, what's this one? Demon blood coating. As long as you block... Oh, I can block. I didn't know that. Okay. This power adds a chance that basic attacks turn into critical lens flare strikes. Lens flare strikes. Oh, dear. This uh, does not affect special attacks such as the fire wave or poison. All right. Well, let's go poison. Uh, do you know how noble <laughs> nobles kill each other with poison? You'll need a toxic edge to make this sword fit for a king that will have to deal with all sorts of pompous aristocrats. Slay the radioactive fly lurking in the mine and I'll coat your blade with its noxious green secretions. Charming. Now I have a clear objective, so I might as well get uh, moving towards my destination. Alright. Easy enough. Well, actually I shouldn't go to the mine, should I? Let's go somewhere else. Alright. Uh, tip, tip, tip. Yeah, don't need that, I think. Uh, let's go back to the village. Three, two, one. Alright, and we'll go to the castle this time. I haven't been in the castle yet. Okay. I wonder how I block. Maybe I can't yet. It's probably a skill of some description. Oh god. Oh. Ah, damn it, I hate it when they're just out of reach. Ah, damn it. What's going on with this guy? That's better. Alright. Oh, 
Quick! Ah. I think Dash has a cooldown on it or something. Ooh, that was lucky, you almost got me. <laughs> I'm starting to get the hang of the gameplay. Oh. I like the entry level sort of combat in that it's difficult, but it's easy to find out what kind of moves you need to use on any given enemy. I wonder if the actual monsters that you need to kill to get things for quests are bosses or not. It will be interesting to find out. Obviously we can't right now because we're not doing a quest. Oh! There we go. Now you reckon I could jump over that guy? Yep. Oh crap. <laughs> Uh, I don't think there is full damage. Oh. Well, if there, if there is, I should have got hurt by then, by uh, that one. Oh, you damn guy. Oh, you can do uh, dashes in the middle of the air. That's pretty handy. Alright, sometimes I don't actually jump as high as I can. Yeah, see? That's weird. I don't know if that's a glitch or intended or what. Alright, mister, you're going to die horribly. So the level design's pretty nifty, as far as the backgrounds go, and, and graphics overall, really. Alright, that means bad, so... Oop. Damn it. wonder if there's double jump. No, unfortunately not. Alright. This guy's going to be a pain in the neck, isn't he? <laughs> oh, damn it. Right. <laughs> there we go. Did that open that door? It did indeed. Alright. Oh. Oh, see, I jumped really high there. That, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't work that out yet. Oh. Hmm. Now, I did say that combat was challenging, and it, it is to a degree, but it's starting to get easier now that I know how to play. And the only real variations I'm seeing at this point in time are that the monsters are actually have more health, which is not good. Damn it! Ouch. Ooh, this guy's taken a few hits. Ah. Oh god. Um, I should probably go back to town. I'm actually not doing much of anything here, am I? I'm not collecting bounty or anything. But you generally get the idea of the game. You collect, uh, you collect quests. You go and do the quests in one of these places, and then you upgrade the sword. So yeah, pretty much like uh, any RPG, really. Um, but yeah, I, I like it, and it's pretty accessible price-wise. Now five bucks is not bad, and currently it's a dollar. So and has been a dollar for a little while now. So, uh, yeah, no real complaints about that um, as far as price goes. Uh, gameplay is fine, the graphics are good, so, yeah, I'd recommend it, I think. Uh, so this has been Brand. You can pick it up on Desura. Like I said, it's only a dollar right now, or normally it's uh, $4.99. It's a dollar for another 30 hours as of the time of this recording. So uh, go pick it up quickly if you want that cheap price. 
And this has been your host of Pixel Pirate. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you next time. Shiver me timbers!